Hello everyone, it's Samantha Miller with EXP Real Today. Real Today. Hey everyone, it's Samantha Miller with EXP Realty. Today, I will be taking you on a tour of Old Hickory. Now, I'm really excited about this because this is where my husband and I live, and we came across it when we were looking at homes and we were, you know, moving here, and it's 25 minutes from downtown. There is a country club here behind me. There's a bunch of lakefront properties. So I just think it's a quiet, pocket here in the Nashville area. You're still in Davidson County and I just really wanted to show you where my husband and I decided to live. Now there aren't a lot of newer homes here. They are older homes, uh, some smaller bungalow style homes, but if you're looking for more established communities, this is definitely an area you want to consider. So if you're interested in seeing a driving tour of Old Hickory, come on with me. My channel once again i'm samantha i'm a realtor here in the nashville area i specialize in relocation as well as new construction so if you're interested in relocating to the nashville area like i did or if you're interested in learning more about new construction go ahead and head to my channel i have lots of resources there lots of neighborhood tours new home tours things like that so um you can always reach out to me as well text me call me email me you can drop a comment i'd be more than happy to help answer any real estate questions you have also any neighborhood questions what it's like moving here logistics things like that my husband and i went through that whole process so i have lots of information about that on my channel and if you do like videos such as this one please like this video and subscribe to my channel it really does motivate me to put out more content so i can help you find your dream home here in the nashville area okay so here is nashville and old hickory's up on the northeast end right here and where I'm going to start this tour is entering on the kind of downtown side. So if you were heading away from town, there is a bridge right here that kind of brings you from Madison into Old Hickory. So that is where we're going to start. And then we're going to stay on Old Hickory Boulevard and kind of head into different areas. So here's that bridge. Like I said, we're heading over the Cumberland River right now, which is right there. And of course, I chose to drive in October so it is a little bit more beautiful even though the sun isn't out old hickory is part of davidson county so it's still considered the metropolitan area of nashville and old hickory is named in honor of president andrew jackson whose nickname was old hickory you can also visit his home in the town over in hermitage Now to our left, you will see some new construction townhomes. These are called Robinson Row Houses. They're in their final phase of building and selling. So if you're interested in learning more about these townhomes or viewing a home tour, you can click the link in my description or the link above, or you can reach out to me for more information. Old Hickory is mostly known for the large DuPont plant that made gunpowder back in 1918, so during World War I, and it employed over 50,000 employees. And in order to house them, they built a village along the Cumberland River, now called Hadley's Bend. Now these homes still exist today. Most of them are small bungalow style homes, but it's pretty cool to be a part of history and this area is now called the village and I will be taking you through there very shortly. So as a resident of Old Hickory, I thought I'd go over some of the pros and cons and I will start with one con as you can see what we're driving through right now. This is kind of the only amenities offered technically in Old Hickory. So there's a couple restaurants and fast food. We do have a convenience store. Uh, we do have to travel into Hermitage or Madison in order to go to a grocery store, but it's only about 10 minutes. Old Hickory is pretty small. Mm -hmm. 
So to the right with the white fence is Old Hickory Country Club. And I'm going to be going left onto Hadley Avenue into Old Hickory Village. And this is kind of where Old Hickory got its start from the village and they kind of built out from there. So old, the Old Hickory Village does have a post office, a library, there are a few churches, they have a pharmacy, and a coffee shop. And they also have a farmer's market once a week during the spring and summer months. So it's a cute little town and definitely you should add to your list if you're considering moving to Old Hickory. Although the village is mostly bungalow style homes, as we get closer to the lake, there are some larger lakefront homes. So the price ranges really vary. The bungalow style homes that are around a thousand square feet go for about 300,000 at the time of this video. The median home price overall of Old Hickory is just under 400,000. And the lakefront homes really vary, but they're around 1 million plus. So I happen to be driving through on Halloween and this is a big place for trick-or-treaters so a lot of homes go all out for Halloween which is really cool and they drive around in golf carts and they just make it a lot of fun for the kids. So I'm just gonna drive and make my way through the village and I'm going towards the lake, so you'll see some lakefront properties here pretty soon. And I will let you know when we are heading into another part of town. So I know I reviewed a con of Old Hickory, so now I will go over one pro. And one pro is that since we still are in Davidson County, we're close to downtown and prices in the downtown area have skyrocketed over the last couple years along with the surrounding areas. And Old Hickory, since it is still going through a gentrification process, home prices here are definitely below average for the Davidson County area. And they are only going to continue to increase with its proximity to town. So we're leaving the village and now we're heading by the marina. As you can see in front of me, there are some new construction homes and the harbor is to the left right here. So if you need a place to put your boat, here is a great spot. They also have a boat ramp here or a boat launch. I'm not a boat person, so hope I'm using the right terminology. And there's also a restaurant right here called Sam's. It's a great place to catch a game, drink a beer, have a lakefront 
dining experience, uh, very casual. It's definitely really popular in the summer months. So now we're entering more of the Lakewood area of Old Hickory. Um, some people who are from the Nashville area only know Old Hickory as Lakewood. So this is just a little bit farther down Old Hickory Boulevard and I'm kind of hugging the river so you can kind of see these waterfront homes and communities. So just enjoy this drive. Um, we're on Lakeshore Drive. As we're driving through Old Hickory, I did want to mention another pro. Now, if you look at Old Hickory on a map, you are in between two major highways, I-65 and I-40. You can take either one into downtown. And this could be a pro to some because you're right in between, but also it could be a con to some because you are still about 10 or 15 minutes away from each highway. So depending on where you're from. Uh, like myself, I'm from California. I'm used to having easy access to a lot of different highways. So it was a little bit of an adjustment, but now it's not a problem. I love where I live and it's definitely worth it. So we made it back to Old Hickory Boulevard. So as you can see, we start in the upper left where the circle is. We made our way down Old Hickory Boulevard and took that back road kind of along the river. And this is where we are now. So we're gonna kind of jump over Old Hickory Boulevard and go to the other side. So the opposite side of the river or lake. Um, and this is also Lakewood, just different housing styles, different community and neighborhood. Now, only because I know the area so well, I will share with you 
some of the amenities nearby. You have a Home Depot and Lowe's across the street from each other, just about 10 or 15 minutes away. There is a gym in Hermitage that I go to. It's also where I do my grocery shopping. So you are really only about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes from really all the amenities in Hermitage. It's where I get my oil changed. Um, I really don't have to leave the Hermitage area if I don't want to. The only time things I really need if I wanna go downtown to eat at some good restaurants or go to a writer's round since my husband plays music but we feel like we have everything we could need and more around this area. There is also a Ross, a Bed Bath & Beyond, Five Below, and Walmart in Hermitage area, and just a short drive away near Donaldson. It's technically in Hermitage, but more towards Donaldson area. There is a Target and a Kohl's there as well. So now here is where I am on the map, the part that circled. I'm gonna make my way kind of southeast on Old Hickory Boulevard. So you can kind of see more of the main road and we are going to turn into another community called Brandywine. In my opinion, Brandywine is very different from the village or Lakewood. The homes here are bigger. The lots are a lot bigger. You have big flat land. And my husband and I did consider, we thought this, personally, we thought this area was beautiful. And it is close to Andrew Jackson Elementary School. So here I will be turning into Brandywine. Now Brandywine is kind of an umbrella term for this area. There are different communities in Brandywine. Some have HOAs while others do not. So if you are interested in this area, it's just something to be aware of. So you can see we are approaching the lake on the right hand side. So these are some lakefront homes in the Brandywine area. 
One thing I've noticed moving from California to Tennessee is that all the homes look so different and every street is so different from one another. Where I'm from in California, there's not a lot of variety. You really have to travel travel quite a distance to get the feel of a different neighborhood when here in the Nashville area, and I'm sure most of Tennessee is this way, one street can just vary so much from the other. As you can see here, there's two completely different houses next to each other. And so it's really important if you are considering moving here, especially from somewhere like California, to really take the time to drive around, get to know the neighborhoods, and I think you'll find an area that speaks to you as soon as you see it or feel it. And that's kind of what happened with me and my husband. So I hope this driving tour is helpful. I think it's really the only way to get to know a community and really just get it from a driver's perspective. Um, if you do have any questions, like I said, please feel free to reach out to me. If you have any suggestions of different neighborhoods, also feel free to reach out to me. I really enjoyed doing this. I think it's really helpful. You can't see every street, every neighborhood, every community you could want when you're visiting somewhere. My husband and I struggle with this. So, um, if you have any of these feelings or just want to chat about it, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to help you or answer any questions you have. So now I'll be leaving the Brandywine area and heading left on Chute Lane. And we're going to be going up again towards the lake. And we are kind of heading towards Hermitage and Mount Juliet as well. So this road, Chute Lane, will take you to Hermitage if you go right at the end of it on Lebanon Road. And if you go left, you will head into Mount Juliet. On the right-hand side up here, there is an archery range. It's mostly for hunting. They have decoy animals. They have targets at different yard ranges. And you just pay an annual fee and you can use it at any time. And there's picnic tables. I visited with my husband. It was pretty cool and it's definitely a good place to be to practice. So now we'll be heading up Saundersville Road towards Green Hill area of Mount Juliet. We are also going to kind of be hugging the lake at this point. So you'll see the lake coming up. All these homes are still technically in Old Hickory. Although as we go deeper down Saundersville Road, it does start to turn into Wilson County and the city of Mount Juliet.
at this point, I'm going to take a left and show you one of the neighborhoods back here. I just didn't really film this in the right order, so that's kind of why I paused. But this is one of the neighborhoods in this area. Also some larger, flatter lots. There is a variety, so definitely worth driving around. Uh, my husband and I actually ended up renting a home in this area as we were searching for our home. We loved it. We ended up kind of house hunting in this area as well. We didn't end up finding anything, but I do think it's an area that's not really talked about or explored very much when you are looking to relocate. So I would consider it, or you can ask me more about it if you're interested. Okay, so at this point, I messed up the filming and I'm gonna take you back on Saundersville Road. So we went down that neighborhood and we kind of turned around and came back. And now we're back on Saundersville Road heading towards Mount Juliet. So coming up on the right is one of my favorite restaurants and it's called the Lucky Rooster. It's kind of like a little hole in the wall type of place. Um, it's right here on the right. They have really good food. Their french fries are amazing. The lake is on the other side which is really cool. And they have uh, trivia nights on Wednesdays. Uh, you can definitely watch a football game there. Uh, it's a great place to hang out. We went there all the time when we lived in this area.
so this is kind of the end of the tour reaching the lake otherwise we head into the mount juliet area which is a different county and different city but i hope you enjoyed this neighborhood tour of old hickory obviously it's near and dear to my heart and if you want more information about old hickory area please reach out to me also if you want to hear more about the real estate and more about the homes in Old Hickory, you can head to my channel. I have a video going over all of those things. I'll link it below and also I'll put a card uh, in one of these corners here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this driving tour. I would appreciate any feedback. My goal in doing this is to pretty much save you a trip or a day driving around. So if there's anything I can do to help with that so you can do this basically from the comfort of your couch, um, please let me know. I would appreciate really any feedback or I know there's always room for improvement. So let me know and I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy exploring wonderful Nashville.